sit your bums down because class has begun. Welcome to another MCK 101 class where I show you the kitchen basics that are going to elevate your home cooking skills. Today's class is all about breadcrumbs. Store-bought breadcrumbs have a massive ingredients list that includes roughly four different kinds of sugar, some preservatives, and for some reason, sunflower and sesame seeds. I don't find this acceptable at all because mine have flour, water, salt, and yeast. That's it. Get ready to have some culinary knowledge unleashed on your brain cells because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. I'm starting with a loaf of my no-knead bread. I'll leave a link up top and in the description to that video. We're just going to cut this into some slices. Take your slices and cut them down into thinner strips. Now take your strippers and slice them perpendicular to the cuts we just made, creating little cubes. I like to switch to a non-serrated blade here because I find it harder to cut cubes with the bread knife. Lay your bread cubes out onto a baking sheet. I have a cooling rack on mine to maximize air circulation, but it isn't necessary. Make sure they are in an even layer and cover with a light tea cloth. Let them sit in an airy space for roughly three to seven days or until all of the moisture has evaporated. When they are fully dried, add them to the food processor in small batches. Pulse them a few times to get things going and let it run. Inspect them every few seconds and stop when you have reached your desired texture. Just look at those beautifully textured breadcrumbs. Perfect for all of your home cooking needs. Not only are these breadcrumbs better for you, they taste a hell of a lot better too. I prefer to use a food processor as opposed to a blender because I get a little more coarse crumb from it. These coarse crumbs will give you a great texture to whatever you're coating with them. That's the end of class for today. Take your newfound knowledge, make your own crumbs, and skip the extra ingredients. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. Thank you so much for watching, many mahalos, and much aloha.